Fortnite Avatar update is now live and everything's been leaked which we have an early look at, the free Ang skin, all the element pass rewards and what's contained within it at each stage, all of the brand new mythic abilities, gameplay of them, attached to the new skins that have just rotated throughout the item shop and some even more juicy surprises so stick around until the end to get all of that and more today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the battle pass or anything from the shop you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the charcoal pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means Bruh. another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof of that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all before we reveal the element pass rewards and everything you need to do to unlock the Ang skin and all the other rewards. Very quickly the map changes that have happened with this mid-season update as there's only two more after this 29 point 30 and 40 is something interesting concluding Midas' storyline this season based on Greek mythology. As the Marigold yacht has now fully left the island and departed, being Midas' wife Marigold revealed in this particular glider calling her his queen, which obviously it would say princess if it was his daughter. And also despite this happening, there is NPCs that have been added to the island, a recent item shop skin, this one off the Fortnite surveys that we thought would be a selectable style for Aura, but is his own skin called Charon or Sharon, I don't know how you pronounce it. He is NPC number 16 on the collectibles tab found at Cloistered Castle and he sells a Rift, Harbinger, SMG and Pro Fishing Rod and his dialogue states, sorry mate I'm retired, you don't know how nice it is to finally see the sun mate, I'm loving this island mate, fresh air, food, it's the dream. Nura can also be found on the dock at the centre of the lake as NPC number 17 on the collection tab, she sells a Reaper sniper rifle and shield bubbles and offers conversations about space and stars, with the dialogue stating, stories contain power, they tell us who we are and help us shape the world. Last but not least for the NPCs, Pete after being rescued by Jones, you know that we literally have a loading screen for that we could unlock in the takedown quest at the end of last season. He's now back and can be found near restored reels as NPC number 18 on the collection tab. And the description of him states this best, free from the society's clutches, Peely is struck back out on his own to find his destiny. He has an open heart, a tent and a dream. Nothing's gonna get this Nana down, except maybe Rain, because he's in a tent. Speaking of Peely, he's managed to integrate his way into the Avatar event, as in this new loading screen that got revealed today for Avatar, showing all the mythic abilities kind of being used with the new skins. As you can see, the upper glider, which will be available in the event pass, which we've got all the other rewards to show and how you get them in just a second, but actually, you know, riding it, demonstrating how this happens with us being on top of the creature. With all of these skins from the loading screen being in the item shop right now upon downtime lifting, which will be for the duration of the avatar event, I'm guessing until May 3rd, which was revealed. Epic Games not only granted me all of these for free, the Zuko, Katara and Toph skin, but of course Toph and Zuko specifically correlate to two of the new bending elements abilities. This first one right here being the fire bending mythic which as you can see you can shoot fire into the distance and even use kind of like an up close and personal melee attack slam. We then have the air bending ability which believe it or not is something I didn't expect. Actually traversal or gets us around the map quicker from activating as kind of like an air circle that we stand in almost like a vehicle and for those that aren't familiar with the show the last airbender is of course Ang, which again is going to be the skin available in the event pass but we do have another variant of him so stay tuned. Last but not least we have something that works like the Jujutsu Kaisen kind of ice shield mythic which is the earth bending ability attached to Toph right here. Very cool and will be useful for some clutch moments in Zero build so let me know down below in the comments out of all these three which is your favourite and why. The earth bending one does have an offensive ability actually where it launches a rock but data miners have stated it's actually kind of broken right now so they can't showcase it early. With the introduction of Korra in the 29.10 last downtime update prior to today where 29.20 is live, we've been able to get randomly around the map or out of chest the Korra water bending mythic ability which will soon be changed to spawn on these podiums alongside all the other abilities that we've just shown gameplay of. These will be going live on April 12th for those that don't know that was revealed on the news tabs leading up until today update day when Avatar Elements will be starting, later confirmed in a sub post to the trailer announcement of this showing Ang actually breaking out of the iceberg which hasn't happened yet considering it's not the 12th but of course here's the confirmation, start warming up your bending technique Avatar Elements kicks off April 12th at 9am ET which explains right now why you can't see the event pass early or even a menu like last season with the TMNT one counting down until the free and paid section are available and speaking of our first look at this as you can see on screen right now here is an early look without the rewards there this is what data miners have been able to drag into game so far but as you can see there's a reward track special quest buying rewards and then we also have on the right hand side that he's about to showcase the upper glider which is the kind of like bonus reward toward the end of the event for instance we saw this bat bling in the TMNT event toward 
reward the events end in that particular event pass. However, here are all the rewards that we'll be able to earn and how we do in the free and paid section for this. When so broke this down the best, in case you missed it, here are the element pass rewards, top row equals free and bottom row equals paid, meaning 1000 V-Bucks comes with normal ang upon purchase instantly that we saw again in that particular event pass showcase. Four tiers also have level up tokens, Appa is the reward for completing quests and is free, so we don't need to actually have the paid section for that. So as you can see, in the free section we have a spray, bat bling, loading screen that we already mentioned with Peleon Appa, this particular guitar, an emote called My Cabbages, this sticker and also this pickaxe. In the paid section, upon instantly unlocking ang for 1000 V-Bucks, you'll then be able to earn this sticker of ang, this banner of ang, this emote attached to Ang, a bat bling again attached to Ang the character, this spray surrounding Ang, and then a pickaxe again and different variant of Ang. If you remember, this was exactly the same with Shredder in the TMNT pass. We got a variant of Shredder for simply buying the actual event pass itself or upgrading for 1000 V-Bucks. Then the better version of him, the purple one, was right at the end of that event pass for, you know, levelling up or earning what we had to once upgrading. Upon unlocking anything from this event pass, as you'll be able to see from early showcase of all those rewards in the event pass on screen right now in the free and paid section it's a different revamp reward screen for this limited time event to fit the avatar last airbender theme and of course both versions of ang will arrive with their own lego variants and speaking of different lego skins these are all of the different ones that were added today from previous ones in fortnite's catalog that they hadn't implemented yet to make sure if you haven't already to enter code fm1 in time for picking up that event pass on april 12th nobody doing it like me and charlie the charcoal pug out here supporting our community by getting cardboard cutouts going to this type of extent after all rocket racing season and one's also kicked off, which we now know to be called Neon Rush instead of Neon Knights, which initially got leaked, with other cosmetics surrounding this in the item shop, and free rewards to get for completing the challenges that have come along with the new season. Speaking of cosmetics overall, though, you may know from looking at your Fortnite locker that they've removed the colour or rarity background of each of our cosmetics, making it actually harder to navigate our locker. Epic Games never said anything about this until Happy Power tweeted out the following right here. Epic is playing the Angel and Devil thing with the item shop. Give a quality update, brackets the timer, give a lame update, Day to remove rarities to trick you into thinking a skin is worth more than it is. To which Fortnite replied, hey, the change to remove colour labelling from shop items doesn't change our approach to the way we price things. We just want to simplify the appearance of Fortnite locker, shop, etc. and remove outdated Battle Royale inspired systems. Not gonna lie, I can't see too much of a point in them doing this if they're gonna keep some rather than others in terms of the coloured backgrounds or rarities or series. For instance, Marvel, as you can see right here, is easy to distinguish. In other news, Fortnite recently announced the new Coachella event which will obviously be coming to the game across creative and then cosmetics coming to the item shop that you can see in the image attached which from clicking the article everything in this image the female the male astronaut skin the pickaxe wrap and bat bling will be available on april 11th at 8 p.m eastern time both of these skins will be coming with their own lego style as they've stated just below that but the lego styles won't be reactive and all of these cosmetics you know in the image stated before will be available until the second weekend of coachella at 8 p.m eastern time again but on april 20th 2020 Along with those cosmetics, we're getting two new instruments, as you can see right here in the theme of Coachella. And then considering Doja Cat is coming to Fortnite Festival, some emotes surrounding her in the item shop for the duration previously mentioned, April 11th to 20th. Here are all the jam tracks that have been, you know, announced by Fortnite early that will be upcoming on Thursday. And then even more interestingly, J Balvin joins the jam. J Balvin returns to Fortnite in a fiery new incarnation to celebrate his upcoming Coachella performance. The Inferno Skeleton Balvin outfit it comes to the shop starting the second weekend of Coachella, April 18th at 8pm ET. This outfit includes the sizzling and smiley zappy go backy back bling. The outfit and included back bling is available individually or in the Inferno Skeleton Bolvin Bundle, which additionally contains the Mi Gente Jam Track. Many people thought this would be an additional star for the J Bolvin skin, but of course that was never going to be the case with them obviously making money only through the item shop in Fortnite. On top of that, we do have a new starter pack, an item shop skin according to that will be upcoming very soon, I'm guessing in the duration anyways of Coachella as it's already been leaked now, found in the files in 29.20, these two. Drop a like if you're hyped for the upcoming Avatar Elements Pass and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future uploads. Do not forget to enter code FM1 now or the next time you log on, it's vital before picking that up or anything from the item shop as we're trying to see how many people can actually enter this code. In terms of other videos though, click either of these two on screen right now, YouTube's recommended you. It's a good suggestion whilst you wait for the very next upload I do publish on the channel.